Hello, I am Sami Vishmeshra from Yurt and Vita. Today I'm here in front of you all to prove that this formula to find the sum of first and even numbers is n times n plus 1. So today, to prove that, I'm going to be using these counters over here, this grid sheet and this worksheet I have with me. So to understand the concept of the formula, we're going to need some basic understanding. To make you all understand, I'm going to be using these counters. So I'm going to add this one counter in different, different sizes. As you can see, we have only one counter which is forming into a shape with one row and one column. So we can say that the arrangement, the size of arrangement of this counter is one by one. Now I'm going to add another counter to this. As you can see, it is forming a shape with one row and two columns. So we can say that the size of arrangement of this shape is one by two. Now we are going to add more counters to this so as you can see it is forming a shape with two rows and two columns so we can see that the size of arrangement of these counters is two by two let's add more to this so we can see here that these counters are forming a shape with four rows and two columns so we can see that the size of arrangement of these counters is 4 into 2. Now let's start the activity. First we're gonna find the sum of fir the first even number. Do you know which the first even number is? It's 2. So I'm gonna be adding two of these counters here. As you can see I have added two here which is the first even number two counters. We can see that it is forming a shape with two two columns and one row, which we can also see as the sum of first even number is 1 into 2, which we can also write as 1 into 1 plus 1. So now let's add the second even number, which we know is 4. So let's add 4 counters over here. So as you can see, it is forming a shape with two rows and three columns. So we can see that the size of arrangement of this shape is uh, two into three, which we can also write as two into two plus one. Let's add another, the next even number, which we know is six. So one, two, three four five and six so as you can see it is forming a shape with three columns and four rows so uh, we can say that the sum of first three even numbers is three into four which we can also write as three into three plus one the next even number which we know is 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 can you see how many counters are there there are four there are four by five counters so we can say that the sum of first four even numbers is 4 into 5 which we can also write as 4 into 4 plus 1. So when, as you can see, when we were trying to find the sum of first one even number, it was 1 into 1, 1 times 1 plus 1. When we were trying to find the sum of first two even numbers, it was 2 times 2 plus 1. When we were trying to find the sum of first three even numbers, it was 3 times 3 plus 1. When we were trying to find the sum of four e first four even numbers, it was 4 times 4 plus 1. By looking at all this, we can conclude that the formula to find the sum of first and even numbers is n times n plus 1. So if you want to find the sum of first five even numbers, we're going to do 5 times 5 plus 1, which is 5 times 6, which is 30. I hope this activity helped you understand how you can find the sum of first and even numbers. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.